Hello everyone, Dr. Mungli here. So today's question is a three-year-old boy was presented to pediatric clinic with the complaints of decreased developmental milestones. On examination, there was hepatosplenomegaly, decreased IQ, signs of anemia and thrombocytopenia. Examination of skin biopsy shown cytoplasm of macrophages as wrinkled tissue paper. Deficiency of which one of the following enzymes would lead to such findings? So now the point here is to collectively diagnose this condition and then identify the enzyme that is deficient in this particular condition. So some of the highlights of the case to me is a three-year-old boy. So there is a decrease in developmental milestones here. And then patient has hepatosplenomegaly, a decreased IQ. So basically decreased IQ indicating mental retardation there. And uh, anemia, so indicating there is decrease in the red blood cells. Thrombocytopenia indicating decrease in uh, platelets. And also biopsy of uh, skin biopsy with the, where the macrophages are isolated. So cytoplasm of that macrophage is showing a typical wrinkled tissue paper appearance. I think the, out of all the signs that you are seeing here, one of the giveaway point here or one of the key signs that I can say is uh, wrinkled tissue paper. Pay attention to this particular finding here wrinkled tissue paper appearance cytoplasm having wrinkled tissue paper or crumpled tissue paper appearance it will go with a disorder called gaucher's disease so gaucher's disease is a type of spingolipidosis so in gaucher's disease you see some all the signs that are mentioned in the case time here so there will be decrease in developmental milestones hepatosplenomegaly decreased iq anemia thrombocytopenia and wrinkled tissue paper appearance of cytoplasm of the gaucher's cells here so the enzyme that is deficient in Gaucher's disease is beta glucosidase enzyme that is option C here. So beta glucosidase is also called as glucocerebrosidase which is also called as glucosylceramidase enzyme. Okay so it means there are three names here one is beta glucosidase other is glucosylceramidase and the third is glucocerebrosidase other enzymes that are given in the choices here just to briefly to go over them and uh, name the disorder in the deficiency of those disorders means in those enzymes so the uh, option a acid maltase will give rise to pompase disease hexosaminidase a enzyme deficiency it will give rise to tay sachs disease alpha galactosidase enzyme deficiency will give rise to fabry disease Spingomyelinase enzyme deficiency will give rise to Neiman pick disease. Ceraminidase enzyme deficiency will give rise to Farber disease. And beta galactosidase enzyme deficiency will give rise to Krabby disease. Alpha L iodronidase enzyme deficiency will give rise to Hurler syndrome. So most of the spingolipidosis are mentioned here along with Pompe disease and Hurler syndrome which are also lysosomal storage disorder. So all the choices that are given in this particular case is they are all the choices will be in, they are all indicative of lysosomal storage disorders. Among all the lysosomal storage disorders Gaucher's disease is one of the most common lysosomal storage disorder here. Now let's move on to see uh, Gaucher's disease a little more in uh, detail here. So the Gaucher's disease is because of the deficiency of enzyme and that is glucocerebrosidase enzyme. So this glucocerebrosidase enzyme it participate in the breakdown of glucosyl ceramide which is also called as glucocerebroside. So the molecule that I am talking about here is I am rounding it off that is ceramide with glucose is called as glucosyl ceramide or glucocerebroside. 
Now this glucose cerebroside is broken down into its individual component that is glucose and ceramide. This job is done by glucose cerebrosidase enzyme and this glucose cerebrosidase is also called as glucosyl ceramidase because the molecule that it cleaves is glucosyl ceramide so that is why it is called as glucosyl ceramidase which is also referred as beta glucosidase why because the bond that is attached here the glucose that is attached to ceramide with the beta bond beta glycosidic bond that is why the enzyme name is beta glucosidase just to repeat again there are three names for this enzyme one is glucose cerebrosidase glucosyl ceramidase and beta glucosidase so the simple job of this enzyme is to break down glucose cerebroside into glucose plus ceramide now if there is a deficiency of this enzyme consider that there is a mutation in a gene coding for glucose cerebrosidase so that this is an autosomal recessive condition so where there will be decrease in the activity of glucose cerebroside because of this what happens glucose cerebroside is going to accumulate because glucose cerebrosidase enzyme is deficient glucose cerebrosides accumulate in various cells because glucose cerebroside is a part of cell membrane in variety of cells so they will start accumulating glucose cerebroside in the lysosome so this is a lysosomal storage disorder among all the lysosomal storage disorder gaucher's disease is the most common one and gaucher's disease talking about epidemiology it is most common in askenazi jewish population now what all the signs and symptoms that you are going to see in gaucher's disease so there will be hepatosplenomegaly so enlargement of the liver enlargement of the spleen can be seen here because the molecules are accumulate hepatocytes and spleens will accumulate cerebro glucosyl cerebroside and also the macrophages which are taken up by the splenic sinusoids or the uh, reticuloendothelial system present in the spleen and the hepatocytes that also contributes to hepatosplenomegaly here so apart from hepatosplenomegaly so gaucher's disease patients will show neurological signs so variety of neurological signs are seen as with any other sphingolipidosis gaucher's disease presents with neurological signs and one of the neurological sign is mental retardation patients may have seizures patients may have hypotonia so rigidity and all that kind of signs and symptoms you can see here now Gaucher's disease patients will have pancytopenia because the bone marrow will be affected here so the long bone marrows will be affected so where all the cells that are synthesized there will be affected it means there will be decrease in the red blood cells giving rise to decrease in hemoglobin content in the blood and that basically leads to anemia and anemia will give rise to fatigue patients will feel fatigue in Gaucher's disease now the decrease in platelets can be seen here giving rise to thrombocytopenia and because of this so there will be risk of bleeding risk of easy bruising process and all that so decrease in uh, white blood cells giving rise to le leukopenia neutropenia and all that and that can give rise to risk of infections so the patients with gaucher's disease will have pancytopenia with giving rise to anemia fatigue thrombocytopenia giving rise to bruises bleeding leukopenia giving rise to opportunistic infections and also because of the accumulation of glucosyl ceramide in the tissue variety of cells and that glucosyl ceramide will be accumulated in the lysosome lysosomes becomes big and that will occupy the cytoplasmic space here and the cytoplasm when the cell is absorbed under microscope so you are going to see what is called as wrinkled tissue paper appearance wrinkled tissue paper which is also referred as crumpled tissue paper appearance wrinkled tissue paper or crumpled tissue paper appearance is appearance of the cytoplasm that's a bluish gray wrinkled tissue paper or crumpled tissue paper appearance of cytoplasm of the cells in gaucher's disease and that shell uh, that cells are specially referred as gaucher cells which is one of the characteristic feature of gaucher's disease 
Now these are the signs and symptoms that you are some of the signs and symptoms that you see in Gaucher's disease which will help you in diagnosing this particular case. Now what is uh, just br uh, briefly moving into treatment for Gaucher's disease so the definitive treatment for this is to replace the enzyme glucocerebrosidase. Now recombinant glucocerebrosidases are available which can be used for enzyme replacement therapy here only hindrance or only factor here is this treatment this kind of treatments are very costly it has been uh, estimated that approximately someone Gaucher's disease patients needs around 200,000 US dollars per year to get this treatment so because the disease is uh, less common and the molecule recombinant enzyme uh, replacement therapy recombinant technology where the glucocerebrosidase is produced so that makes it costlier this is all about Gaucher's disease I hope I helped you in understanding Gaucher's disease I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned something about Gaucher's disease today so see you again in my next video